In the category called Generosity, the speeches focused on the issue of altruism or selfishness, in their central cores of significance, indirectly associating such behaviors to characters with a certain degree of corpulence. Only in a 1914 movie, a film Johnny, by Charles Chaplin, was there a direct reference to the corporeity of the character who was generous to Chaplin. Of the eight passages found in the sample of films, in five the statements linked the fat characters to generous behaviors, while in three they behaved selfishly. There was, therefore, no enunciative consistency in the discursive formation. The act was related to the donation of money, clothing or food. Even in relation to food sharing, there was ambiguity in social representations. There was no linear historical trend, but recurrences of both types of statements. In comparison to the other themes, it can be said that this one was not very much themed. To illustrate this category, two excerpts were chosen. In this first film, Backstage, from 1919, starring and directed by Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, he paid a visit to the bedridden girl at the end of the film. He approaches the bed with a package, from which he takes an apple. The girl observes, just like the spectator, he removes the apple and cleans it. The cliché expectation is that the fat man will present the patient, but what he does is eat the fruit. Expectations are broken as a comic formula, exploring a supposed selfishness with food. In the second excerpt, from the film The Last Laugh, in 1924, by F. W. Murnau, the protagonist, after receiving an inheritance, generously distributes tips to all the messengers and employees of the hotel he worked for. He is happy and satisfied by this altruistic attitude.